Hi everyone and welcome to the eighth episode of Trek China. Today we are in Liangping district in Chongqing municipality to go and climb a very special place. And this is called Hua Shi Gu Zhai, which literally means slippery stone fortress. So we can see the fortress right on the top of the hill there. And it has a very interesting story behind it. So as we climb up the slippery slope, we are also going to be joined by one of the local uh, tourist guides here. 你好, okay, so let's uh, go. So we've got to go through this little doorway here, then up a little staircase across the bridge, yeah, and then we'll be up onto the slippery stone slope. 那么这个地方是可以追溯到一二四二年是不是嘛I can see already that these steps leading all the way up to the top are pretty steep. You know, the steps aren't particularly that wide. Maybe there's, you know, space just to put one foot in there. So really, uh, as long as you're in good physical shape, I think climbing, this won't be too difficult. Right. So we've covered the first section and I reckon this is only about 20, 30 metres high. And one thing I like is that uh, you can actually stop for a rest bite. Now, you may have heard of some tourists here, but they don't want to go up there. They don't want to go up there. <笑>没事没没隔可能继续没这里要休息着 <笑>嗯, our guide has just pointed something out for us. If you stamp your feet on the steps, then it kind of has like an echoey sound to it. So I'm going to take my microphone off. I'm going to put it to the steps and see if I can show you. Okay. But I'm not going to stamp on the microphone, don't worry. Actually, me she an idiot. As we get higher on this mountain, I mean, really, I don't know if it's really big enough to be called a mountain. I might be tempted to call it a hill. But as we climb up, you know, we get a ever more expansive view over the countryside. I mean, uh, the weather's not that great today. I mean, it's not that cold. It's not raining at least. But, you know, in the winter months of Chongqing, we do get a lot of, you know, fog, a lot of mist. So that is kind of, Spoiling the view a little bit, but nevertheless, I think you'll agree it's still pretty nice. I can see we've got a sign. It says Yin Ma Chi. 然后我看到这里也有个小的一个石墙,对吗? here we have a fortress gate. So this is gate number one. 
令我有点意想不到，我我原以为可能第一号门就是在下面我们过桥的时候啊。嗯、这个是最原始的，这是一个最原始的寨门。那个地方只是我们的一个入口的那个通道。那么在元朝的时代啊，这里有没有发生什么战役吗？嗯、呃，没军事的，没有，他是修了这种防御的这个军事去抵御盟军嘛，因为那个时候盟军在跟我们在呃就对抗嘛哈，那个时候，然后在在那个钓鱼城的时候，他们那个呃蒙哥就战死战死了嘛，战死之后他们就退回去了。钓鱼城。对，他们退回去了。我们这儿的话就是修了这种防御的这一个军事要寨，但是还没有呃发生战争。Right, so this is another interesting thing here. Unfortunately,、uh, we don't have any of the、uh, the gods here who can do a little performance for us. Come down. 登上华氏寨，好运天天在。But the first time I ever came here, I did have a go at this. They have a lot of these little earthen bowls, and the idea is that you take a sip of、uh, rice wine out of it. I mean, it's not very strong; it's only a small amount. And then, when you finish, you throw it at the rock here, at the stone, and smash it into pieces. <laughs> 那现在呢，就是表示我们对这一个游客的一种欢迎，欢迎，希望游客把他的那个烦恼寄托在酒当中，然后咱们喝了之后就把烦恼摔掉，嗯、呃，表示我们的一个欢迎，也希望游客能够开心。咱们这里的口号呢，就是登上华石寨，好运天天在，客官远方来，美酒来相待。Okay, so this is going to bring you and me good luck, I hope. So let's smash this to pieces. Okay. <laughs> okay, and I didn't cut my fingers. Even better. <laughs> uh, we're getting closer to the top, and if you listen very carefully, I can even hear the beat of drums. And I show me a yummy one inside Daguma. Ah, okay. Now, as we climb up, there are some more details about the fortress on top that are coming into view. If we have a look over that side, there's an old watchtower. I think that's been there for a few hundred years. Right, we've made it to Fortress Gate Number Two, and just beyond here we have another little plateau where I suppose it's okay to stop a few moments to get some rest. 那么最近来这里游玩的人多不多嘛？嗯，工作日的话人就比较少，还是主要靠节假日。比如即将到来春节的话，人肯定就很多了。然后元旦期间人也还可以，然后工作日的话人确实不多。On the busiest of days, they can take up to thirteen thousand guests, tourists. But、uh, as you can see, today is a weekday. It's Friday, January the fifth. So on a day like this, you're not going to find so many people. All right. So it looks like we've made it all the way to the top. If I turn the camera around, this is Fortress Gates Number Three. This this gate is the gate of the Fortress Gate, the third gate, and the second gate. At the beginning, we saw the Fortress Gate. Just before we came here, we saw the Fortress Gate. 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 那么就最开始建立了一个呃老寨，然后后来呢是为了抵御白莲教的一个战乱，在嘉庆二年的时候就扩建了，就对其进行一个丰富。然后民国初年的时候，为防那个呃匪患，我们的袁家袁家几兄弟就回到我们的这个华氏古寨，对其进行了再次的一个复建。啊，对其呃觉得缺乏的一些建筑就修建了，然后也包括对咱们那边有一个碉楼，呃，对其进行了一个复建。那么到二十世纪五十年代的时候呢，嗯、呃，全民大办钢铁运动当中，嗯、呃，很多建筑都被毁了，所以咱们整个这个华氏古寨呢，都是通过一个后期的一个复原和修建而打造出来的一个这样子的一个景区。I think when he first came here, 
a few weeks ago was kind of a whirlwind tour. We made it to the top, maybe spent about 10 minutes here, and then it was kind of back down to the cars and uh, back to Chongqing. But today, but it's still early morning, so we've really got a couple of hours just to uh, take the whole atmosphere in. Oh, and I can see the guys who are playing the drums right behind us. Maybe we can get them to say hello. Right, so we've made it to these steps here. And we've got like a little courtyard and we've got these guys here who are going to play the drums for us. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, let us see them in action. <laughs> I'm gonna lose count. Right, one, oh, sorry. one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 da. <laughs> so, so, yeah. oh, I got it! <laughs> you got it! <laughs> And, and also another thing I'm quite interested in are these like, little pools here. And I can just imagine if you have a tourist, maybe they're not paying attention or maybe they had too much of that rice wine. That I think it's very easy for somebody just to step in here by accident. This <laughs> Okay, this is a bit more fun. Yeah, I think this flight of steps is a bit steeper and you can't get a full foot on these either. I would say some of them you can maybe stick your foot on halfway, but it's pretty short. We're already nearly at the top. And wow, as we come over here, we kind of get another view over the other side of the mountain. And I can see some interesting things down there. We've got a lake. It looks like a glass bridge down there. Because这个景区的话,它就是分为上下两部分,上边就是观景爬山,下边呢就是玩乐,就体验游乐项目的这样子的一个综合性的一个园区。Alright, so you can see we have a lot of ancient implements over here. I mean, I can't tell you what all of them are. I mean, these look a bit like daggers. Okay, oh, this is for like, oil lamps. And then this one, Changdao. I mean, would you call this a sword or a long knife or something? Right. Okay, I don't think there's a lot to see up here, but I'm going to climb up anyway just to satisfy my curiosity. Okay, it looks a bit like a reading room. We've got two bookshelves over there. I mean, what kind of reading do we have here? Okay, nice. Tai Fu Zhe Hui. So this is the wisdom behind getting rich. Okay, so maybe I ought to take that with me today. Oh no, it has been worth it because I think we can get to the very top of the stockade village. Well, I think that makes it official. We've made it to the top of Huasha Fortress. I'd have to say it's been worth coming all this way just for the morning. That brings our vlog today to an end. I've had a fantastic time here. It's been well worth the trip coming here from the Chongqing Main Urban Area. And not only do you get a good workout, you get some fantastic views. You can learn a lot of fascinating history. So I want to thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you for another vlog one day real soon.